a lot of job seekers write to me or ask me when I'm at a speaking engagement, sir, uh, rejections depress us. How do we deal with the, this depression? See, what needs to be understood here is the strategic value of failure. Failure or that rejection or the, you know, the disappointment that one feels when one does not get the job, that does not mean that you are a failure. See, over the course of your lifetime, you are going to fail thousands of times. This does not make you a failure. A failure is not a person. Failing is an event. And, you know, it comes into your life to give you the greater experience that you require uh, to be able to succeed the next time. But when someone lets it define them, when someone takes it personally, you know, it becomes their definition. And that is where it impacts you and it kills your ability to be able to take, you know, meaningful action. Failure does not come into your life as an enemy. It comes into your life as a friend because it helps you become the masterpiece that you are meant to be. Because your growth will only happen on that boundary of support and challenge. You know, like when you go to the gym and you're lifting weights, you know, it is when your muscles are failing that they will grow. Depression is the comparison of your current reality with your desired reality. You cannot feel depressed without having some content in your mind. Evaluating yourself based on your desired reality will lower your ability to take meaningful action towards being able to create that desired reality. It is a mindset problem and it is one that, you know, we create for ourselves. It's a self-sabotaging behavior. Everything that you have been through, it did not kill you. You are still here. Understanding this bigger picture that you can still wake up, you can dress up and you can show up to fight for your dreams. It is this state of mind that has to be permanently awakened so that you don't get into, you know, that depression. Because when you learn how to overcome it, that is where you learn, you know, that no matter how bad it seemed, you were able to work through it. And there has to be that darkness first. That darkness has to come first for light to be able to remove that darkness. Light only has meaning because it had darkness to dispel.